Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. I am Mr. Jones, and this is Priority Hauling Junk Removal. We got a customer that has an area in her basement where she collects items, you know, for storage. Then eventually she determines if she wants to keep those items or throw away. Some of the items, which consist of a old computer desk for a hutch, she has some old electronic, such as a Bluetooth speaker. Standard that she has a, a gaming console. We have to see exactly which type of historic gaming console she has. She's got that. I want to say probably some old decorations for holidays that she has. But the true problem that's going to come up is the actual area where the items are stored. She stated that there's limited set of light. So visibility is going to be uh, questionable. But this is going to be a fairly simple job because you got myself and you got my good brother, Wap, that's going to be taking care of this customer's request. I'm going to do my best to film the job. It's just that when I get on site to do the job, my mind is just all about fulfilling the customer's task. That's all it is. I have to really look at switching up the type of equipment that I'm using to record these jobs so that way I can capture it right there in the moment instead of capturing after everything has happened but anyway enough of my rambling let's get to work baby peace all right guys what's going on we are at another site location cleaning out a basement this is a basement cleanup again this is a basement cleanup it's a beautiful day though it's definitely a beautiful day Oh, you can just okay. Uh, yeah, I was, put it on the yeah. I was gonna say yeah. You can just put it on the ground. It's it's totally fine. Grab some more. Ah, uh, trust me. <laughs> trust me. I I have kids at home. All right. Bed. Frame. Everything here is gone. And I hope the customer with the light. Alright guys, almost almost there. That's it. Almost there. Almost there. It's definitely not not too bad, especially with with, with the light on. That's garbage. Yeah, before it, before it kind of seemed like it was, you know. Truly really garbage. Yeah. Those TV and stuff still work, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I'm downstairs, so that's See, that's why I needed my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got this in the way from my partner, and we can uh, move it. Bring this computer desk up. It's an old fashioned one, so she's got a little wig. Sit this down. Woo. 
All right, now, I'm gonna grab that computer desk. We broke the top. Ah, oh, see, I tell you, man, my boy, why? He always got it. Yeah, he always got it. Break it from the top. They always like it still works. <laughs> Be like, it's prehistoric. Anybody gonna want it? <laughs> Alright, we just got a little bit left to clean up. We got this uh bed of mattress. Looks like there's also a frame. Yep. Alright guys, we are finished. guys so that is a wrap we were able to stop by the customer's location and remove the items that she had from her basement also we were able to get the lights to actually function to produce some lightning around the basement she has been dealing with limited of light in her home for a couple of months for a couple of months basically you got your fluorescent lights that go into the light fixture it needs to touch the terminals on both ends in order for the fluorescent light to receive power from the home to power on the actual light bulb itself. Commonly, a lot of people they will try to put the fluorescent lights up without the acknowledgement that these lights have to be positioned in a certain order so that way each contact on the end can touch the terminals and thus you'll be able to 
get some light. This particular customer had advised that, hey, the light doesn't work. And I was like, okay, there's a light in here. And she was like, yeah, but it doesn't work. You know, that's what I was like, okay, is there like a switch on the wall that she can switch it on? And what I'll do is I'll, I'll check your fluorescent light bulb to see if it's installed correctly. So she flipped the switch and I looked at one of the sides of the terminals and I seen that the pins were sticking out. It wasn't mounted correctly in the light fixture. I removed the light bulb, repositioned it, and the power came on. She was so shocked, so surprised that now she had light in her basement and she hasn't had it in for a couple of months. This is not the only customer location, some other customers where I had to actually, you know, readjust the light fixture so that we can get light. Just doing something as simple as that, not only is it beneficial for the customer, but it also comes back to you. Helping customers out with just, you know, small things here and there will definitely lead to more jobs and it'll also lead to more word of mouth. You know, that customer is gonna be more than likely we recommend your business to another family member or friend that they know. Too religious with you guys, but I'm heavy on the saying that you reap what you sow. Just as a clear mind is a conscious mind. And what I mean by that is that no matter what chaos you're going through with any type of situation, customer, job, always keep a positive mindset try to learn from that situation that you're currently dealing with. Persistence is the key, but sometimes things do slow down in the business, so you may not see that persistence of you being in the field, performing a task, or you may feel as though that your business is lacking, but actually, you could be progressing where the good man above wants you to be. But yeah, guys, stay motivated and have faith. But anyway, guys, I'm about to go take care of some business here for home. Also plan on reaching out to my other potential customers to see if we can schedule some more jobs. Just wanted to drop those gems on you guys real quick. But all right guys, I got a roll, I got things to do. Definitely appreciate everyone for watching my video. Again, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please be kind to hit that subscribe button. And definitely don't forget to stay tuned for the next video. To chat with you guys later. Peace.